Undervalued, abandoned and vacant properties. That's the focus of a new Louisville program that will provide 200 families up to $50,000 toward buying a home. WDRB's Darby Bean explains how it will work. The program is called Revert and focuses on areas of the city like the Russell neighborhood, which, like several other areas, was previously redlined. It is unacceptable at any level, at any part of our community. This map shows Louisville in the 1930s, and the areas of town impacted by redlining span across the page. Redlining in real estate is denying or offering less favorable loans to people in certain neighborhoods or areas based on their demographics or perceived risk. That has generational impact on people in our community. REVERT stands for Restoring Each Viable Economically Redlined Territory. It's a redlining mitigation program through the Louisville Affordable Housing Trust Fund. This past December, Metro Council awarded $12.2 million to that fund to help families who experienced discrimination through redlining. It is the statement to this community that not only do we understand that there were wrongs that were done, but we're willing to make the investments to fix it. Out of the $12.2 million, $10 million is available for eligible families who purchase a property in a previously redlined area. That's up to $50,000 for 200 families. Those with the program say to qualify, people should also have a family lineage tied to an area that was previously redlined. $1 million is going to the Rotary Club for its West Louisville Housing Initiative, and the rest is going to help market, implement, and document this program. We have to acknowledge that redlining isn't just a horrible injustice that occurred in the past. It's something that still haunts us today. While many in the community are just learning about Revert, those who helped envision this program say it's the first step of many to help bringing hundreds to homeownership opportunities. We talk about the, the rising crime in our community, but what if we had more folks living in our vacant and abandoned homes that actually created communities? The funds can be used for code compliance, updating to core and curb appeal, or to clear a lot and rebuild on the site. Mayor Greenberg says to expect more announcements on Thursday surrounding affordable housing. That's when he'll make his first budget proposal to the Metro Council. Reporting with photojournalist Emily Evans, Darby Bean, WDRB News.